What's up, Mr. Sergio Castillo? How you doing, bro? I'm doing great, brother. How's it going? It's going good, man. It's going good. So, Sergio, thank you for coming on Filmspiration for the first time. I'm really honored. I really do appreciate it. Sergio, let's jump straight into it. Give us a little bit of uh, background for those of us, um, or for, for those out there in Filmspiration's audience who may not be familiar with yourself, your work, etc. Can you tell us a little bit about you? Yeah, my name is Sergio Castillo. I work in the film industry in Los Angeles. I am part of uh, IOTC, which is the union. It's an, basically an umbrella and uh, that protects us and keeps us working. And, you know, basically they negotiate our rights. And I am part of the Local 60, and that's the studio grips and craft service, as well as uh, the set medics. Set medics, really? I didn't know that that included set medics. Yeah, so any medics is, uh, you know, basically they're our brothers. They're closer to us because we're in the same union and we oh, kind of wow. look out for each other. Yeah, we although we, we're all on the same team, uh, we actually just kind of, you know, technically I can take their position, they can take my position in the sense of, you know, helping fill an immediate need. Yeah. Sexo, so let's go ahead and uh, jump straight into it. Uh, COVID-19, it's obviously flipped the world upside down. There's a lot of, obviously, bad that's come out of it, but there's also a lot of good that's come out of it. Um, I've talked about that on previous episodes with previous people, but inside of the industry itself, um, for those of us on the outside, what what has it been like since COVID-19? Uh, basically, if you want the long story or the short story? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like you know, when the, the the moment I was like on set when all this was happening or yeah. or post like you want it after I um, basically how, we, how about we got a, laid off uh, a little bit of both a little bit of both uh, yeah okay um so basically we started hearing about COVID-19 and you know the coronavirus is like as everybody knows it and basically what started happening is uh, all, everybody the news was freaking out and you know we are working 14 to 16 hour days when we're shooting, you know, uh, a TV series, and that, that's what I'm currently on. And from the time you go in, you really don't know much of the world, and you try, you have little communication with the, the people you love, and that's about it. So I was hearing, uh, basically getting text messages about the coronavirus and all that, and I really didn't pay much attention to it um, until the last week, which was about uh, around March 13th. Uh, all of a sudden, the text messages that I started to get weren't from my loved ones about getting toilet paper and foods and water. Yeah. They started being from my coworkers, friends that I've worked with in the past. And they were expressing, hey, we just got laid off. And I said, oh, man, like, that's, that's terrible, you know? And then you, wow. you hear, you're, you're starting to hear, like, Warner Brothers is shutting down the entire studio lot. You hear Paramount shutting down. You hear, you know, Disney shutting down. And you start hearing all these major studio lots are shutting down and we're actually a division of Disney work for ABC mm -hmm. uh, Freeform. And we, we, the production talked to us a little bit and they said, Hey, we, we know this, you know, this is what's going on. And they put out uh, washing stations where we could go. They had them everywhere, basically next to catering, they had them on set and you know, before the end of the day, they installed the washing stations. And then before the end of the day, they said, hey, guys, uh, you know, the, the studio network is uh, suspending us effective immediately. So uh, till further notice, you, we will let you know uh, when we're back. And that and they said, pack up the trucks and go home. Wow. All in the same day. Yeah. All in the same day. And at the same at the same time, uh, you know the world, and it doesn't really hit you. You hear all this COVID nineteen. It doesn't really affect you or hit you, and realize how serious it is. Yeah. Until you lose your job, until you you know they say, hey, you know you you're laid off, and then we'll we'll let you know what happens uh, come Monday. And and, and uh, so you'll correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that these immediate actions that were taken, um, obviously, I'm I'm gonna say we're not because of quick finance decisions that were made, but rather to automatically and immediately put in place the CDC's guidelines and recommendations of, of course, the six feet of um, social distancing and the spacing and the hand washing, et cetera, 
basically people getting serious about very serious about those type of things first and foremost correct that that's definitely uh correct and and you know throughout this time i also have like a i have a, a dog kennel business and i i attend dog shows so i while i'm at work I, I set up certain things that i need to do to attend these dog shows and prepare dogs for these shows mm -hmm. and m about midweek before i got laid off from my main job you know they i had three shows lined up in march and they were all slowly canceled and mm -hmm. it was it was you know it had nothing to do financially because um, they had already been paid. The venues had been paid, and it, it was because uh, you know the governor had released you know no more than 50 people are allowed to be in a gathering, and then that slowly trickled down to our movie uh, crew, which you know were over 50 people yeah. um, in one time, and and definitely they they did let us know that we're, they were gonna let what's gonna happen. Um, since you mentioned the financial part uh, mm -hmm. on Monday, that they were gonna let us know. Um, what was going to happen if they were going to give you give us a stimulus package, you know, a severance package from our company, not with oh. the state. Yeah. You know, and uh, we, we got the phone call late Tuesday. They took an extra day. Um, people were kind of freaking out, but they took an extra day. And at the end of the day, they, let, they did let us know that they were going to carry the crew for uh, three weeks. And basically what that means is they're going to pay us the 40 hours for, you know, for, you basically to help you know we devote our lives and yeah. you know spending the time and and all that so th they recognize that and they decided to go ahead and help us and uh carry us for those three weeks which is which is it makes me happy to hear that because um here in tucson uh in the news industry covering the whole topic um things like everything from the restaurant industry to, to basically like a lot of service industries people were just flat out let go and then when you know in a lot of these industries there are no unions um there's there's uh there's a few but unions are not um as strong or as uh, they don't have the presence here in arizona that they have in cali from what i understand is what i'm trying to say right right and yeah so, they're, they're, they're as funded yeah and and so a lot of people were just basically straight let go and you know, and ironically enough, today's April 1st, um, first of the month, people need to pay rent. People need to, yeah. you know, pay, pay for groceries. And so that was definitely a topic on the news today. And so I'm very happy to hear that, that that grace was extended to you guys for, for three weeks. Um, so the, the dust as we came out of earth, what, what day, by the way, was that, the, that this all happened, the day that it all came down? The day that it all came down, I believe, was uh, March 13th. Okay. That that was that was pretty much um, the day that it hit us, and it, and it was it was circulating about two weeks prior. Um, yeah. Definitely, like other people being laid off in different industries, and if you are laid off, I definitely recommend you know go on to you know edd.gov and file for unemployment, and, and you really don't know like what services are available to you until you make make it uh, a point to fill it out and you know it's definitely this is your money this isn't money that you're taking off from other people they're like you there's money that's taken out of your check for yeah. unemployment for th these types of situations and so that's why that's why i mean no one should feel and, and especially when we, i mean this is a global thing and no one should feel like any sort of shame or anything like that like and like you said this is taxpayer money that you've been putting like a lot of people have been paying into the system and now you need a little bit of assistance and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And, and given that, um, given that this is kind of, a, you have a film audience, they did, you know, from what happened, you know, the, the lobbyists went out there and spoke to Congress and basically what happened is that they agreed to an additional $600 per week on top okay. of the un unemployment. So basically when I get off of, uh, my severance from my company for three weeks, I will file for unemployment. And then on top of that, the stimulus package that they made that got approved is an additional $600 to that. So, and, and that doesn't mean you don't have to be union and, you know, that's basically for anyone out there that has, you know, filed taxes and is saying they are in the film industry and they're independent contractors and whatnot. Gotcha. 
Um, and if you'll go ahead and send me that information, that way I put that in the description to make that to make people aware of that. Um, and yeah, like click that. click the notes below. <laughs> the, the show note, the show notes. This is yeah, like that, yeah, I coughed correctly. I coughed into my arm right here. <laughs> yeah, good. Very <laughs> close to me. Uh, better mind. Also, also yeah. we got the we got the you know sign up for our pro membership. <laughs> <laughs> At the um, end, you know, you'll, you'll get all the sneak peeks. So, Sergio, I'm really, I'm really happy to hear that there was the three-week severance, and then after that, the um, unemployment. I'm happy that that's there for you as well as, as well as the additional six hundred dollars uh, beyond that wow. for for film and television um, employees. And so, I'm really, really happy to hear that. So, it sounds like, uh, you know, mid March. Mid March was scary, but the death kind of settled, and now you have a little bit more information as to how you, not just you guys, but like people in general in the country, were able to piece things together. Of, okay, here's what we need to do next with regards to like you and, know. And it's unfortunately it's not coming quick. This stuff takes time. Yeah. Um, you know, so definitely, if you're watching this video and you haven't filed, filed today because it's it's a it's a week process, you know, and then they have to get approved and all that. And I have friends currently, you know, who aren't so financially great. You know, if we work in film, we know we have to save for rainy days. Yeah. And that, you know, definitely the people that didn't or weren't able to um, are definitely, call, you know, they're calling the companies and saying, hey, I can't pay for this and, uh, you know, extend it till, till that release does come. Um, but it is pretty unfortunate because a lot of, you know, 95% of the industry was shut down. Wow. That's basically everybody there. They uh, let the writers and, you know, animators, those, those are the people still working right now. Um, but 95% of the industry was shut down. And, you know, some people, like, like you were saying, can, you know, they, they got to get food instead of paying their rent, you know, yeah. and what do you do then? Yeah. Uh, so so it's, it's definitely been hard. Sergio, how, how are you feeling personally through all this? I mean, it's obviously scary, uh, but at the same time, I, I do kind of get a glimmer of, um, you know, you're, you're in positive spirits and whatnot. Um, is, am I reading you correctly? Yeah, most definitely. And um, that's only because I've sacrificed so much in the beginning. And by, by you know, a lot, you know, a lot of people think people are sitting in, in great places because it, it you know, it, it wasn't hard. And I definitely made my sacrifice, had my six month rainy day fun, like, this is the first thing that I need to set up because I work in film, you know, that's like the number one thing you need to set up because you don't know when you're going to work, you yeah. know, especially not being in the union or e even if you are in the union, being an independent contractor, yeah. um, you don't know when your next job is, you know, you finish one job and then you wait for the phone to ring. So it's um, like a, so, a good takeaway from you there for other people uh, inside and, and outside of unions is, Hey, um, Put some money away for a rainy day, right? Yeah, yeah, and and it don't count on no company, don't count on the banks, you know. Like definitely set yourself up properly. I went to the ATM and, uh, you know, wanted to withdraw some money, and the the ATM wasn't allowing it. Like the ATM was out of money, and the bank was to close on Friday. My bank's closed right now. You know, I'm with First uh -huh. Entertainment. I'm with First Entertainment Credit Union, and, and you know they're they're closed till further notice. So uh -huh you know definitely find yourself a good you know system to set up your rainy day fund and and that's why i'm you know in, in high spirits you know i was able to visit my girlfriend karen and spend some time off with her um and do some hobbies I, like i love fishing you know i like fishing and playing with my dogs i have uh about six french bulldogs <laughs> so that oh, yeah, yeah. that keep that keeps me busy um but uh, the bad, you know, let's be real. Let's talk about the bad. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I, I'm a workaholic. I, I love working and I, I love staying busy and just that go, go, go mentality. And unfortunately, like it, that was taken away, I'm, you know, and, it, and it, it would be okay if I could do other activities or pick up another job. And I can't, mm -hmm. you know, you stay, stay at home, don't go out. And basically, what you what are you left to do? You know. So here, one of the one of the big running themes that I've been hearing from, um, for example, two actresses that I spoke with yesterday. They're they said in very different ways, but for the most part, the the message was the same. The message was that this is 
you know, you, you have to uh, do the social distancing thing, stay inside, et cetera, right? But um, do you also see this as maybe a, um, it's a scary time, obviously, but is it also a time for, for people, filmmakers, in and out of the formal biz to that, that people can maybe take the time to reflect and, and think about, you know, just a bigger picture, you know, in their lives? Yeah, um, I think I think that's uh, I think that's a good you know kind of pull out the map and see where you were going. You know, you had that five year plan that everybody did. You know, and uh, you know, pull out the map, see where you're going, see how you can connect the dots again and and get back to where you want to go. Because you know, not we're off right now, but we're gonna come back even harder and stronger. Yes. you know, as an entire nation. And, and, you know, although we may be in a recession or entering a recession, you know, that, that only means you can go up from here, you know? Yeah. And uh, I, I think a lot of people, you know, definitely don't sit at home, watch Netflix, don't, you know, get a workout routine in the morning. That's going to yeah. make you feel better, you know, get spiritual if that that's what you're into, you know, you know, uh, definitely you can still watch church at, you know, on the computer, you can still do all kinds of things. And and I think for the filmmakers out there, I, I think this, this is one of the best times ever. And maybe once in a lifetime where you're forced to stay home, yeah. you know, read, read scripts, you know, watch movies without sound, you know, so you understand composition. So you understand, you know, you can't hear it what the actors are saying, but you're understanding camera movement, you're paying attention to lighting a lot more, you know? Um, podcasts are amazing. Listen to any form of information that you can and then get sick of it and take a day or two off. Do, you know, do whatever you want know, uh, binge popcorn and watch TV, that's fine, yeah. you know? And then r jump right back into it, you know? And, and I, I cannot stress enough what has helped me and Karen is, keeping ourselves accountable to a physical you know routine of like get you know getting an hour of working out a day and yeah. to whatever capacity that you're comfortable with yeah um because that that's just going to generally make you feel better and it's just it's just going to put your whole life into motion even though you're staying at home you know there's so much more that we can do other than than stay at home and watch tv and text friends about how you know, you have to stay home. We all know that. <laughs> what, yeah, what else? Yeah. What else are you doing? It it it's like um, you can you can go out and stretch your legs, you know, and take a walk around the block and then go back home. You know what I mean? Obviously, stay away from from people, from each other, safe distances, all that. Um, but what what I'm hearing is basically, you know, from everything you just said, uh, I'm hearing a great message about the importance of maintaining that healthy routine for you and with regards to mind, body, and spirit, because I had somebody else say uh, recently, this is why it's important to not just get up, mope, and watch Netflix all day, but rather take a shower, brush your teeth, um, you know, do your hair, um, exercise. The, the simple and, things. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, just, just do those simple things to keep to keep up the good maintenance right here and i totally agree with that mm -hmm.